What's happening guys? Today we're talking about workflow in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump into the video. So we've got the workflow in DaVinci Resolve when you're actually working on a project, how you move stuff around, how you cut things up. And that's not the kind of workflow we're gonna be talking about today. Today we're gonna to be talking about more of a high level view of how do you organize your media files? How do you make sure you're getting things backed up in case something happens? Cause at some point, DaVinci Resolve is gonna crash out on you and you might lose your stuff and we don't want that to happen. So today I'm just gonna share what works for me. I'm not saying this is the right way or the only way. There's lots of different ways you can do it. You have to find out what works best for you, but this is gonna be the way that works best for me. And maybe it'll help you out just kind of getting organized and figuring out a good workflow that works for you. So when we're getting started on any of our DaVinci Resolve projects, when you start out, you've got all your media files, you've got maybe some audio files, a little music, you've got your video camera files, you've got all kinds of different things that you want to use for your project. So first thing I want to talk about is what do I do with all these media files? So as I get started with any DaVinci Resolve project, one of the first things that I think about is where am I going to keep all of my media files? So ideally the best location that you can keep all of your files and everything is on your internal hard drive. That's gonna be the fastest drive for your computer to read and write all the files that it needs to. But if you're like me and on my MacBook Pro here, I've got a one terabyte drive, but I got a lot of it filled with uh, photos of current projects that I'm working on with photography stuff. So I don't have a whole lot of room on here for a ton of video files. So for me, I use an external drive to put all of my media on for any of my projects and I use a Samsung T5 SSD drive. I would recommend that you use an SSD drive if you're using an external drive because they're gonna run the fastest and give you the best speed to allow DaVinci Resolve to read all the stuff that you have on there for your project. So I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check out the Samsung T5 that I use. It's great, it's a one terabyte drive and that's where I keep all of my active current projects. So once you've decided where you're gonna keep your files, the next is how are we gonna organize them? What is your file system gonna be so that you can easily find stuff and use the files that you need? So let's jump into Finder here and I'm gonna show you my file setup and maybe this is something that's gonna work for you too. So if we take a look at Finder here on the Samsung T5 drive, I just have a directory where I store all of my current projects in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing that I had done when I got started was to create a folder that I can use as a template. If you take a look at the bottom here, here is my template. So I have the year, the month, the day, an underscore, and the project name. And that's how I keep track of all my projects for YouTube. Now if we take a look inside this folder, I've got several more folders. We have an audio folder, a draft video, final video, footage and graphics slash images. And a lot of these are self-explanatory, but audio, I'll keep my audio from my Blue Yeti here because I record separately from the Blue Yeti as well as on my camera so I can sync everything up. So I'll keep my audio files here. Next up, we have draft video, and this is where I keep my ScreenFlow files. So ScreenFlow is the program that I use to record the screen when I'm making any DaVinci Resolve tutorials or this tutorial, for example. I keep that in my draft video folder. Final video is obviously the final exported video. That's where I'm gonna put that. So I know always where to find it for every project. The next folder I have is footage. And there's different ways you can organize your footage folder here. In my case, I have my different cameras that I usually record on, my 5D Mark IV, my 60D, my GoPro. And I've just got a folder for uh, any other camera or if I wanted to organize it by date. So for me, I usually record everything in one day so it's not stretched out over multiple days. I don't need to know when the different things were filmed, but some people do, and sometimes you need to know and organize it by date. But for me, I just use these general folders here, and that works out good for me. And if you need to add in extra folders, you can add a folder for your iPhone or whatever camera you might be using. I just like to keep them separated so it's clear and organized and I know what files are from what cameras. And my last folder here is graphics and images. And in graphics and images, I'm gonna put uh, anything from my thumbnails to any kind of graphic or or image that I might need to use in the video. Maybe it's a screenshot of a product or something. I'm gonna put all that right in there so I know where to find it if I need to go grab it. So I keep this template folder as it is in my directory all the time. And when I start a new project in DaVinci Resolve, I just click on the folder, right click, and I come to duplicate. And I just make a copy of the folder, 
and then I can name it whatever I want or whatever my project is gonna be. So I found that this system works really good and maybe it's someplace that you can start and maybe tweak it for your needs. But for me, this works out pretty good for the projects that I work on. So the next thing that we wanna to start to think about is our database and where do you keep that in DaVinci Resolve? So if you've already started working in DaVinci Resolve, you've probably already set up your database. But the one tip I wanna give you is that you should keep your database, which is all of your project files, if we look on the screen here, you can see all my project files and your databases over here. If you don't see your databases, click on this little icon right here and it should pop them open so you can see your databases. You want to keep your database on your internal hard drive. The files that are here for your projects are not very big. It basically just tells DaVinci Resolve where to look for all the different media for your project. So you want to keep that on your internal hard drive because that's how it's going to run the quickest and reduce any lag time that DaVinci Resolve may have. So make sure you find a place on your internal drive and put your database there. So as you start working in DaVinci Resolve, there's a few things that you wanna make sure you have turned on just in case something happens with Resolve, maybe it crashes and you don't wanna lose any of your work. So those two things are live save and you wanna have your backups turned on. So let's jump into Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to turn those on real quick. All right, so here we are in Resolve. I can have any project open, it doesn't matter. If you come up to DaVinci Resolve at the top, down to preferences, make sure you're on the user section here, project load and save. And then down here you have live save. Make sure that's turned on. And also project backups, make sure that's turned on. And you can adjust how often it saves and how long it keeps those using these tools right here. And you can also specify the backup location right here. So make sure you turn those on so that as you start working on any project, DaVinci Resolve will always be saving and backing everything up just in case something happens and you won't lose your work. So you've gone through, you've made these changes, you edited your project, you've got a great project, you export it out and your video's done. So now what do you do? For me, once I'm done with a project, I will take it from my external hard drive and I'll move it over to my Drobo. And the Drobo is basically like a RAID system. It kind of does everything for you by itself. Not too much I need to do. But what's really cool about the Drobo, and one of the big reasons I got it, is that it automatically backs itself up. It's got what they call dual disk redundancy, which just means it has multiple copies of whatever you put on it. So my drive is pretty big. I think it can hold up to, I don't know, 70 terabytes or something. And I'm not sure how much I have on there now, but there's quite a bit of stuff on there. And what's cool is you just can pop in new drives and add storage whenever you need to. And if one drive should fail, which I've had drives fail, you can just pop it out, pop in a new one, and you're good to go. So I like this system because it just continues to back up all of my work that I have on there, all my projects, everything just backs it up. So you wanna make sure that you've got extra copies of stuff because what if something happens, you just wanna have multiple copies of your work. So in addition to putting all of my media files and everything onto my Drobo, what I also do is have my computer backing up to Time Machine. I'm on a Mac and Time Machine is just a built-in program that comes with it if you're not familiar with it, but it just backs up everything on your machine. The system, all your files, everything on there gets backed up. So by backing up my Mac through Time Machine, the database and all my project files are automatically backed up to that. So should anything happen with my computer, I've always got those files I can go back to and grab my project files or the whole database or whatever I need. So it's important that I have my computer being backed up that has the database on it for all my Resolve projects and that I have a backup of all of the media files because you wanna make sure that you've got some multiple copies of things backed up because at some point computer stuff fails, stuff happens, and you don't wanna lose any of your work, your project, or your files. So in addition to having my Drobo back up all of my media files, and having two copies of it there, my computer's being backed up, I also use an offsite backup system. And the service that I use is called Backblaze. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go over, check it out if you're interested. But what I really like about Backblaze is that it only costs about 65 bucks for the year and you can back up an unlimited amount of data. Anything that's connected to your computer, you can back it up. So I have probably 12 terabytes of data up there between all my photos, my videos, got family photos, family videos, anything that's connected to your computer will get backed up to Backblaze. So it's a really great service that's not sponsored by them or anything. It's just something I've been using for a long time and I find it works really well. And what's cool too is that they've got an app for it, throw it on your phone and say, I don't know, you gotta go look for some document while you're out and about and scroll through the app, find what you need and boom, there you go. You got the information you're looking for. And I've used other online backup services in the past, but for me, Backblaze seems to work the fastest be the most reliable and never gives me any problems. It just does it all in the background and I don't have to worry about anything. 
So I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go check that out if you're interested in an offsite backup plan. And I would definitely recommend you do that because what if something happens, heaven forbid, you get a fire in your house or something happens, you lose your hard drives that are in your house, somebody steals it or something, who knows, things happen. It's great to have all of that information off-site just in case something happens. All right, guys, so I hope this was helpful, just kind of sharing my workflow and how I kind of put everything together on a high-level view of DaVinci Resolve and my projects. Hopefully this brought you guys some value. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing. What's your workflow? What's your backup system? How do you guys manage all of your files for your projects here in DaVinci Resolve? I would love to hear what you guys are doing. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll also leave links in the description to some of the things that I mentioned in this video. And uh, if you're interested, head on over and check them out. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.